Hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We're talking global and we're doing another episode of Best Teams on Global, the April slash May edition. Now, I'm dropping this video a little bit late in April due to the fact I was waiting on trying to figure out who is going to be the next Dokkan uh, event and, and who's going to be dropping and uh, was it going to be Super Saiyan 3 Bardock or, we know now, it is going to be Tech Vegito Blue and strength rose so now i kind of know exactly what's going to be the best teams so i'm going to run run it through now normally I, I i started i started doing this doing the top five uh then it went to top seven i'm actually going to do 10 teams today and i'm going to retire some of these individuals that's going to be on these teams here uh so you won't see them later on in the next videos because now we're really getting to the category meta so but starting in at number one so let's get started starting in at number 10 is actually a category team however it's not dokkan awaken but the reason why it's on the top 10 list is that it has the brand new uh units that's going to be dropping tonight this is when the video is recorded this is going to be dropping tonight uh where strength rose and tech vegeta blue is going to be uh hype just hype i'm very excited as you can tell so uh this category lead here it's the realm of gods uh the reason why it's not higher is because it's only plus two category hp and attack defense and it doesn't have a support unit at this point in time and if you guys have seen my videos i lean toward of course attack and then having good support units to help the uh the team out because you can't run all six at one time you're running three at a time for each turn you got to make sure you have one support going in there uh, uh sometime here and there so floating two is even better so uh so this team you're running the uh non dokkan awaken ui omen goku he does dokkan awaken later on in the future and this team becomes one of the best uh if not the best uh but it runs one of my favorite LRs in Rosmasu, has the two new units, has Beerus, has great uh, uh, supplemental units you can use. Uh, however, it does not have that support unit in Kami. Kami is still not Dokkan Awaken. Get this world tournament going here. I'm like waiting, waiting. So hopefully by the end of this month or beginning of next month, we'll get another world tournament. We'll get Kami Dokkan Awaken and we can fit him in on this team and he will probably move up in the, uh, uh, in the rankings. But right now he is coming in at number 10 the next two is the final two in a sense my top two when it comes to neo gods 120 leads but they will be retired after this video because it's all about category leads in the meta uh, so it is super neo god 120 lead strength super saiyan 4 goku this team is amazing look at this team you're running vegeta uh, lr vegeta blue you have gogeta you have rage vegeta uh, you got just you know, you got that 40% support unit there. Fantastic, amazing team. And like I mentioned before, all these teams, if you can run these teams, you'll wreck the game. No problem. It's amazing. But right here, this is, in my opinion, the second to the best 120 team. Because coming in at number 8 is Super Physical. Retiring from this top best of the best list. These 120 teams, they're still amazing, but like I said, meta is category, and Neo tanks, whatever you want to call them, Fizz tanks, Neo tanks, uh, uh, he is amazing, this team is amazing, you got uh, an LR there, you got uh, counters, you got additional attacks, you got a sealer, you got a 40% uh, uh, support unit there, you got an amazing uh, bench you can add and change on there best 120 team in my opinion once again tell me what you guys are thinking am i putting this team in the right spot so coming in at so now changing the guard you won't see these teams again but changing the guard and uh coming in at number seven is a brand new team the brand new rainbow team because Vegito Blue, Tech Vegito Blue is dropping. So these teams are a little different. So it's Super Type Allies plus 3 to key, HP, attack, and defense 120%. So it still goes in the line with Neo Gods at 120%. Uh, but you have to have each uh, each type advantage. So you have to have AGL, Tech, Int, Strength, and Physical on a team. And the leader does count. So you're already running Tech. So you don't have to put another Tech unit in there. But 
you want to fill up with everything else. So I ran here. Uh, it's I don't know if this is ideal, but I just ran all the LRs, uh, all the all the different uh, type of vantage LRs. You have LR Gohan, Trunks, uh, Go Tanks, uh, no or uh, Go Trunks that is LR Go Trunks, not Go Tanks. Uh, the Thousand Wishes Strength LR, which not too many people have, but I put them in there. And then you have a support unit in Super Saiyan 2 Physical. Gohan there. Now, once again, not too many people have that Thousand Wishes, uh, Thousand Day Celebration LR Goku, so you can easily put in Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku in on that spot, or you can put in even Rage Trunks there. Now, you can't put on the LR Vegito Blue, which would be amazing on this team, because you're already running a Vegito Blue as the leader. So with that, if you don't have uh, some of the LRs, for example, if you don't have Go Trunks, LR Go Trunks, LR Mighty Mask, you can always put in uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there. You can also uh, put in a support unit uh, in the World Tournament Gohan. That could work out as well uh, too. And then you can, uh, um, if you want, don't want to run a support unit, you can then just add Gogeta on there and you'll be just wrecking it there. So if you don't have Super Saiyan 4, I'm sorry, not Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the physical support unit, you can also run the Tech Vegito there as well. So as you can see, the bench strength is full with Super Saiyan 4. You got Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta there. So, uh, uh, so you can always add a Super Saiyan 4 as a bench on there. Now, you have two amazing 120 leads. If you don't have the LRs, uh, for example, you don't have LR Gohan, you can put in... Uh, uh, in Gogeta, if you don't have uh, LR Trunks, you could put in uh, Fizz, Fizz Trunks there, Fizz Go Trunks, Super Saiyan 3 uh, uh, Go Tanks there. So, Go Trunks, why am I saying Go Trunks? If take Go Trunks there and then Go Tanks there. Anyway, Neo Tanks, whatever you want to call them, uh, you could fit on that on that slot there. So a lot of options to change from. That's what you like about these rainbow uh, teams here is you just got to make sure you have the right units, the right type of advantages so that the, uh, the leader skill will activate. So with that, this being number, where am I at? Number seven, right? Number seven. So coming in at number six, in my opinion, this is, uh, this is the second best rainbow team because extreme rainbow. Uh, with Strength Rosé is by, not say by far, but I think a step above uh, Vegito Blue's team. So, uh, one, because Rosé itself not only buffs on the uh, HP attack defense 120%, but has a passive to increase the defense as well. So incredible, just like Vegito Blue, you gotta have each type, AGL, Tech, Int, Strength, and Physical. But look at the LRs that you're running on this. You have Rosemasa, you have LR Maja Vegeta, you have Bojack, you have Broly, and then the most amazing uh, thing that's on Global in reality, because it's so different from JP, is you can run physical Goku Black because he provides plus three to key to everybody and uh, and that's really amazing so you you run that physical unit and uh, be very happy running that physical unit helping out him. it doesn't buff the uh, the attack or anything like that but it does give key to all these LRs so pretty impressive there now the bench strength is good because uh, if you don't have a particular LR if you don't have an int LR in Bojack or Rosemasu you can add a support unit on there and that's what I would recommend a support unit uh, and, have, and run a double support especially if you can run uh, in cooler or uh, demon piccolo there so uh, if you don't have rosemasu you might have Merzumasu, and that's a that's an easy fit uh, going in there you can also add uh, sub substitute broly for uh, Merzumasu as well because once again you're already running a strength in rose you can run um, a, you know a double <clears throat> double type you can run strength there with broly but you can then run two techs uh, with uh, Rosemasu and Merzumasu, and that will work out very well there too. Now, if you don't want to run uh, LR, not LR, but uh, physical Goku Black, you can just put in Omega Shenron in there, uh, and, and then you won't have uh, uh, that extra key, but Omega Shenron's amazing. He wrecks. And, uh, and you could also put in any of the TUR LRs in there if you're so lucky to have pulled some uh, TUR uh, LRs. So, Fantastic team. One of the best of the best. Probably, in my opinion, the best when you're able to run, if you if you can run this team, pretty heavy on the LRs, if you can run this team, uh, it is the best 120 team out there. So, uh, beats out any Neo God, 
uh, it is incredible and uh, yeah just just look at that team <laughs> so now that rounds out our top or bottom 10 so from probably here on out I'm gonna run the top five and it's gonna be basically talking about category leads and category leads reign supreme like I mentioned before I lean toward the attack and then support units and then just overall of everything and of course LRs too if you have LRs on the team it works out really well just like this team here so coming in at number five so talking about the top five number five in the category leads is the shadow dragon saga plus three key HP and attack 150 percent now it is, I know it's a hundred fifty percent lead however uh, this team is just missing a lot of different dynamics where other teams are just a little bit better Top five, it's just a little bit better, except for number one. Number one, I think, is a lot better, but uh, all these are pretty close to each other. The problem with this team is, one, it doesn't run any LRs. It does have a support unit in Pan, but that Shin Shenron, I can barely say that, Shin Sen Shenron, uh, is just a thorn. It's, it's not a very good unit. It just really help, is there to help Omega Shenron, and it really devalues this whole team. Even though it's at 150%, which is very superior to other leaders, the overall team of this just isn't that great. And unfortunately, no one runs Omega Shenron as a leader anymore either. So hard pressed to even um, uh, run this team out there. But come in at number five, Shadow Dragon Saga. So number four is the 170 130 leader. That means that's HP and defense 170 and attack 130. And that's the Majin Buu Saga. You might go, whoa, why is this team number four? Well, number four is pretty high. So number four category lead uh, uh, is with Super Vegito Physical. Fantastic team. You're running two LRs in Majin Vegeta and uh, LR Mighty Mask, LR Go Trunks. Uh, then you have one of the hardest TUR, hitting TURs in uh, Neo Tanks there. Uh, you have a nice uh, hard hitter and a defensive support unit in, uh, in Gohan. And then another support unit there. And okay, bench strength. So this team, solid team. The biggest problem here and the reason why I put them in number four, maybe not number three, is you have key issues. So that LR Maja Vegeta, even though it's an LR, it, it doesn't link very well. So, uh, so you might have some key issues and problems getting him to a super attack. And that's never good on any optimal amazing team. So coming in number four, Majin Buu Saga. Number three, top three time, you're looking at the Hybrid Saiyans uh, saga. Hybrid Saiyans category uh, with Strength Ultimate Gohan is number three. Three to be uh, uh, kind of going playing on the number three, you have three LRs on this team. So a little bit better than that Majin Buu saga with only uh, two LRs, you're running uh, three of the best LRs, especially the super LRs on there. And you have... Uh, you have uh, LR Gohan, LR Trunks, and then LR Mighty Mass, LR Go Trunks on there. So three amazing. They link pretty well. Um, and then once again, you have one of the hardest hitting uh, T uh, TURs in physical uh, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, and then Super Saiyan Super Saiyan 2 uh, physical Gohan's like on a bunch of teams. If you don't have that unit, you better go get that unit because he's amazing as a support uh, as a support unit there. So. Uh, so yeah, this is a fantastic team. Uh, not only does this team uh, has ridiculous uh, defensive already, defensive uh, 170 HP and defense 170. He gets a they get another 50% boost because of Gohan there, uh, and you have two of them, so you're you're never really uh, missing out on that. So uh, good bench strength again. You can run double support if you want to run a pan there. Great great team. Now coming in at number two, finally the king has been dethroned the reign is over number two is the category of fusion this team has been number one on global for a long long time if you were able to pull super saiyan 4 gogeta early because it dropped really early on global it did had it to be released for a little while uh, this team just was the best of the best even though it didn't run at lr uh, being a 150 to attack and not having any issues with weaker units uh, like that Shen Shenron, uh, this team here is amazing. Now I do want to I run a uh, uh, the uh, the Weirus there. I think Weirus is awesome on this team because it just 
more key, more key, more key, uh, and not never have any key issues. So, but this team is amazing. You got uh, in Gogeta, you have uh, uh, fist tanks. As you can see, fist tanks is like everywhere as well. You have a sealer. You have uh, 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 a support unit. Uh, you can add other uh, other items on here, and he, they, they, they just sync very well, there's no key issues, and it's an amazing, amazing team. So coming in, number two, fusion team, but number one, the new number one, Resurrected Warriors, Angel Golden Frieza, this team is ridiculous. Um, Category leader plus three uh, to key HP 130%, but who cares about HP? Attack and defense is 170%. Yes, 170% attack with LRs, with three of them, guys, with three LRs. So if you are able to have all three LRs, you can run a double support with, uh, with uh, Demon Piccolo and Cooler. You have no key issue. You're supering every time. And just destroying. And you have also a, a, a AOE opportunity with LR Broly there. So uh, if you don't have uh, some of the LRs, you can of course use uh, the bench strength there. Or if you don't want to use a double support, you can even run a, a TUR LR on there. But this team, just look at its glory, look at its splendor. Uh, it is the best of the best right now, no doubt about it. If you have these units, if you've pulled and lucky enough to have it, I run this team and I just. I don't even have to worry. So, uh, and it's amazing. No key issues because of the double, the double support there. So, with that, tell me what you guys think. Am I right on this? Do you agree with my top ten? Am I completely senile and, and, and incorrect? Let me know. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, and of course, comment below. If you guys are still continuing to watch my content. Uh, click that like button. Uh, if you want me to do maybe JP of this, let me know on the comments there as well. But I'm glad to bring you the April edition of Best Teams on Global slash May. I, I probably won't do another one probably until late May. Maybe I might even slip into June uh, for the next Best Teams. But I got you a top 10. The next one will probably be top 5. Uh, with that, everyone, thank you guys for watching. Keep on doconing, and we will catch you next time.